Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. So obviously, Zelda cannot go through here whatsoever. <laughs> you know the drill with that, so we've got to direct her some other way. And I do believe that some other way is this way. So let's get her to go all the way around here for a start. And I'll go all the way around here just to explore, just to look on ahead while I see her do her thing. See, I gotta get her over to this side at some point that way, but uh, another thing is that I cannot, like, <laughs> I cannot really just, like, we're gonna be separated at a certain point here and it's gonna be a little bit on the tricky side. Let's put it that way. Okay, okay, so we're gonna get that. And we are going to go across, and yeah, I think I was right about having the bow out for this, because it'll I'll be able to do some quick shots at what I need to do for stuff, so you grab that key, and mayday, mayday! <laughs> this is what could be troublesome, and it was what's going to take a while to do. See, there's these two sand pits here, which means we've got to switch, switch position with her up over here. So that means we've got to get her through all of this while avoiding, yeah, yeah. So let's get this going here. <laughs> all right, so we've got that going here. Let's do that. All right, that's cleared out. Uh, I should probably get a doodle going here before the other ones decide to respawn. All right, so now she's in a safe-ish position. I guess ish and I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'll draw a whole line over here but I don't have much faith that she's gonna make it but if I because uh, I, I have to shoot the, these yeah and I have to shoot them within a decent time span well maybe I can do this there we go there we go look at that all right and then we switch <laughs> victory sort of we're still not done here We've got to get her to throw that in there, and oh, I'll take that. I get oh, I'm actually already at full health. Uh, oh wait, no, I still got to be on that. <laughs> I still need to switch positions. There's still a puzzle going on here. Oh no, wait, there's an exclamation point on that, which means yeah, the fires are gonna go out here. Oh, okie dokie. Okie dokie. Yes, yes. Four things. So I guess I don't need to. Uh, switch that around that way, so I could just leave Zelda by the door then, I suppose. Maybe, might be, could be, I think so. So... <laughs> ready, ready, ready! Woo! Floor 23. I think you, I think you feel something is coming up here. Because this is a big old empty room, with just a big old door. So let's push on that big old door. Let's put her on the left side this time. Because we can do it on either side. Yeah! I, I, last time I've, doing it, I've done it on the right side. But that time, we did it on the left side. And of course, enter the blue light to return to the temple entrance. Yada yada yada. yada, yada, yada. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! I see you fixed the spirit tracks. My congratulations. It's burning! And you almost did it in time to prevent all this. What do you mean, almost? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Unfortunately for you, Malados has already begun the final stage of rebirth. His res resurrection will soon be complete, and I can't let you cause any more harm. What do you mean, harm? Hey, that's what we were going to say! <laughs> well... Maybe we won't let you cause any more harm. Yeah! <laughs> I'll become as powerful as the spirits, and anyone who gets in my way will be eliminated. No matter who it is. Oh man, it's boss time! <laughs> Draw circles around here, just, just to get her in a good position here. And so, yeah, he's got some shots that he does, and he jumps an all ninja-like off at the top of the screen there. All we're trying to do here is wait it out until he shoots his claw out. And then, once he does that, we're going to have her grab the claw, because it's stuck in the ground. 
she, she's gonna pull Burn down. <laughs> he falls flat on his face. How do you like those apples? That's why I kind of did a whole bunch of circles there. Whoa! <laughs> just because I don't know when she's gonna be in position or not or anything like that, so I'm just kind of just letting her do her own thing while I do other stuff. And come on, come on, shoot, shoot your gauntlet. Shoot the gauntlet. Do it, do it. Oh, you're, you're aiming for her, huh? <laughs> okay, fine, that'll, that'll do just fine as well. See, I don't know where his gauntlet is going to be exactly, so... It, the circles kind of help to keep her in a potentially good position, because I can always time things wherever, and... Oh, oh, we're in phase two already! Wow, that was quick. Okay, so now we start attacking him, and then... Oh, he's going to start... He's going to do a charge at us, get Zelda between us and him, and... Ah, oh, shoot, I failed. Okay, so I just want... I just want Zelda between us and him, because I need Zelda to, ah, I need Zelda to counteract that, so you gotta do a couple parries with him, and then, that, really? <laughs> you can't, can't block him while your back is turned, I guess that makes, I guess that makes sense. Okay, so, let's get, let's get her turned around there. Okay, here we go, here we go. Yeah, there we go, alright, now that they're all in fisticuffs, then we can do that sort of thing, and then we repeat! <laughs> so, yeah, we just gotta hit, gotta hit, Clash our blades a couple of times there uh, before he'll decide to go ahead and charge at us. That's why I'm doing this. Eee, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Now we gotta get in between. Get we go. Let's get it all set up. And attack, 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 attack! Woo! Wow, that went, uh. <laughs> that went a lot quicker than I thought it would. <laughs> Woo! Impossible! I've trained for longer than you can even imagine. How could a pair of human children defeat me? Well, actually, one's a human child, the other's a ghost in a phantom's body. Details. Yes, we are humans. We have neither the power of spirits nor demons. But when we combine our strength, no one can defeat us. Right, Link? Uh-huh. I wish they gave me a choice there. So I could say no, just... <laughs> Just to see what Zelda has to say to that. <laughs> oh, sure. Now we're getting the staticky audio after all of these parts. Sure, at an awesome time like this, they ruin it. They ruin it for all. But no, you cannot ruin this moment. It's too beautiful. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Get, get burned. Get burned. He's, he's getting away. <laughs> I like how the music just stops and they're like... Ah! Hey, wait, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's not quite over yet. So, uh, we're just gonna take a look-see around this room, because this is, this is like the only time we'll be able to... Well, I, I shouldn't say that. I think you can actually come back through here later on. Uh, but I just want to show you around here. It's a pretty, pretty expansive room. Pretty beautiful, too. Alright, so now that you've seen the room, it is as round as the rooms with the locomos. Come on, there we go. We can now go up to the top. Yes, the actual tippy top of the Tower of Spirits. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Hey, what? Don't, don't you dare imitate Navi. Don't you even. No. No. Bad, Zelda. Bad. <laughs> Maybe I can just run ahead with, without her and then it'll just... Yeah, it'll just happen without her. Then she'll come along. Cool. Was the resurrection successful? Oh jeez, it was her body. Oh man. He's a little hurt, but he still seems okay. I'm very disappointed in you, Burn. What? What? Why? Well, even those children proved to be too much for you. Well, at least you bought us some time. Behold! The Demon King's return draws nigh! Her body! No, we must grab it before it gets... Oh, shoot. Well... This isn't looking good. I thought we could prevent that, but I guess we couldn't. We were close, though. Ah, oh, poopers. Double poopers! Oh. No! Congratulations on your resurrection, your majesty! 
Oh, Demon King Maladus. I am the one who has freed you from your prison. Well, uh, not really. I guess it was a team effort. Grant me the power I have dreamed of. And this is what Maladus says about the power. Pain! Pain! Thank you for your help! But you are too gullible, my friend! Don't you know that he will never give you new power? After all, you were once the servant of those disgusting spirits! <laughs> What a buffoon you are! Thank you for your help! Indeed, you blind fool! Now then, your majesty! Let us sacrifice these base creatures to your glory! Um, no, I would, I would not like that. Ugh. <laughs> Go on, just smack it out of her. Get get her body back. Mm. Do not fear, your majesty. You simply aren't used to your new body yet. None of you can stop us. Oh, of course we can stop you. Don't be preposterous. Holy poopers! Where did that come from? I guess below the tower somewhere, but still. But still. Ooh. Listen well, you lapdogs of the spirits! When the Demon King's revival is complete, you will take your last breaths! I would suggest you tremble in fear! <laughs> At least that's what I'm imagining he's thinking right now. Oh! He will get his just desserts someday. Believe me! Oh, yes! That's another freak out all over again. It's useless, my dear. There is no way you can hope to defeat him now. Anjin! Where were you this whole time? Were you hiding behind a pillar and we didn't see you? Anjin, you're not a ghost, are you? Well, that's coming. Never mind. <laughs> the only ghost here is you, my dear. Oh! I am still among the living. Burn, however, probably feels like he's pretty much dead. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> I couldn't best burn. I have to admit, he has grown very strong. Of course, he had a century to train, and he's always had the drive to succeed. <clears throat> succeed. And now, Maladus has been resurrected. Not quite, he doesn't like the body all that much. Yes, and once he adapts to your body, my dear, even the spirits of good would be nothing to him. They would be unable to seal him away again. Such is the extent of your body's sacred power. Is there no way to force him out for good? Why is the phone ringing now? Why is the phone ringing now? <laughs> Well, I guess I can hold off here for a second. Yeah, I guess that was a good spot for me to pause. In the battle between the Demon King and the Spirits, there is a weapon called the Bow of Light. Perhaps it can drive his spirit from your body. Ooh. There is much, not much time to rid your body of a spirit. Resting even a moment could cost you your life. Oh man, how am I supposed to get those rabbits now? However... However? If we force out the spirit of Maladus, my dear, I don't know what will happen to your body. Uh-oh. If things go wrong, your spirit might not be able to re-enter. No, it can't be. Ah, poopers. Could I really be trapped like this forever? What will I do if I can't return, Link? What will I do? Relax. 
Uh, thank you, Link. That should be fine. We're going to find that bow, Anjin. Go to the final temple, the Sand Temple. The Bow of Light is located deep inside. It will be the most difficult place you've visited yet. It was built only to protect the Bow of Light, so it is full of the trickiest of traps and surprises. The temple will test all of your abilities. How exciting! We have to go now! There's no time to be scared! We must return before Melodus fulfills his plan! Yes! And before Burn wakes up. <laughs> Please make sure Burn remains unharmed, Anjin. I'm sure he realizes his mistake now. Are you sure, my dear? He is the one who stole your body, after all. Yes, but once I reclaim it... I will give him a piece of my mind! I would like to have words with him! <laughs> <laughs> Love that. <laughs> oh, he's awake. He might be pretending he's sleeping, though. Better watch our backs. Woo. Let's go find the sand temple and the bow of light now! But do the spirit do the spirit tracks even go to the desert? This force gem will serve that very purpose. It will open tracks into the desert. Sweet! It's another force gem! What, Anjin? As I'm sure you know, happiness and gratitude create an energy. While I am deeply grateful to both of you for all of your help, I can now help I, I cannot help you directly, but I can at least give you this force gem. Okay, thank you, Anjin. Heck yeah, baby! Woo! And now we've got the desert area beginning to open up. <laughs> this force gem is at the real map. New tracks have appeared. Let's head for the ocean realm, and from there to the deserts. Heck yeah! And we automatically get pooped out over here. But actually... Actually, I'd like to do... A what? I can't go... Hold on. <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> I want to go... I want to go do a little side quest over by the Gorons. So if you don't mind, I'm going to uh, go ahead and flop over to Goron Village. Anjin said that the Bow of Light rests in the Sand Realm. We should be able to find it if we look at the map. Now, let's get going. Okay. How about the Fire Realm? <laughs> so it's kind of like the opposite-ish direction that we need to go, but... You know, you know, her body can wait for side quests. <laughs> Alright, Goron Village, we're off! All right, now between chatting with the Gorons post-Fire Temple, there's a little side quest that unlocks after said Fire Temple. So I thought, eh, I'll pop down over here. Hey, Engineer Kid, we Gorons heard about the stuff called snow that you can find in Nuki Village. It could be a rumor. We heard it's cold, fluffy, pure white, and oh, so nice. Have you ever seen this stuff before? Of course. Oh wow, I wanted to roll around in the snow. Ah, uh, I bet it is so fluffy. Would you please take me to a Nuki Village? Sure. Oh joy, my first ever trip. Oh, I just realized I didn't click no on those two. Well, 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 we're okay, I guess. <laughs> I'm not redoing the Tower of Spheres just for that little bit of dialogue, because I haven't saved for a while. <laughs> so we gotta go take him over to a Nuki Village. But, uh, you know, that's that's pretty close by-ish, but namely, I just want to chat with peeps here. Such nice weather. Goddess must be feeling better. Yep, no more tremendous heat waves. <laughs> this may seem a little random, but I have made up my mind. I'm tired of living in the sticks, so I am moving to the big city. I will not change my mind, so don't try to stop me. Eh, uh, oh? <laughs> You're so aloof, a cold cucumber, that is what you are. The city is where the castle is, and the castle is where the princess lives. See what I'm getting at? When you are free later and have no passengers, please take me to the city. So over here, there's another side quest to do as well, but I'm, I'm mainly going to be focusing on the uh, Anuki one, because I'll, I'll end up being uh, going back to the castle later anyway. What good weather it have been in my house so long, I've been getting moldy. I decided to take a walk and dry out. <laughs> oh, jeez, they really need to get some baths around these parts, or take a dip in the lava or something to refresh themselves. I talked to you before, I, I heard your plea. <laughs> oh, it is you again! I must thank you. The volcano has become a much more pleasant neighbor. We Gorons are so happy. We are actually going outside to play! Since you are, since you like traveling so much, you should take a trip around the mountain. 
Uh, I kind of did when I was uh, picking up a load of rabbits. But well, but well, but well. Oh shoot, I was already in this house. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we're okay. We're going in the other direction now. <laughs> All right. So nope, 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 nope. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, continuing on, I'll talk to him way, way back out. Nothing, nothing, really? Is everyone outside today? <laughs> Except for like two or three. My neighbor told me he is leaving the village. He said you showed me the, the cold stuff you brought. Once he gets an idea in his head, no one can stop him. He is probably waiting for you at the station. Please give him a ride. Oh, I guess he has that dialogue now that I got the uh, uh, the other Goron in the train. And you know, they don't never really say their names, do they? Ah, home sweet home. I love it so much, I might never go outside again. So you still say the same dialogue. Well, I guess if, you, you're, you've never, if you're never going outside again, that's really all you've got to say, huh? <laughs> Alright, so let's go take that Goron back over to Anuki Village now, because it should be relatively easy to pull it off. So here we go, all aboard! Woohoo! So yeah, needless to say, I'm doing a couple of side quests before I go off into the desert first, so... Yeah, I just figured, you know, don't don't want them to build up. It's been a whole bunch of parts of progress and stuff like that, so... Yeah, it seems, seems like a good idea, I think, to get more of those side quests knocked off. <laughs> I mean, you certainly don't want me to do, like, 20 parts of side quests, do you? Like, to catch up? Nah, I don't think you do. <laughs> So yeah, you can blow up the sign first before blowing your whistle too, that will work just as well. Just as long as they know you need to blow the whistle, and you blow the whistle, you are good to go. So once we're in the snow realm, and we drop him off, I'll be able to get another force gem. And, uh, you there. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Gotta take care of that before we have some passenger difficulties. And... Yeah, we're kind of already almost there, if, <laughs> if you think about it, because now we've got all the uh, the tracks open up on the lower portion, well, a good chunk of the lower tracks open up on the lower portion of that, so what we should be able to do now is uh, uh, just go straight over to Anuki Village with hopefully not all that much iron. Maybe there's going to be a couple of snowmen throwing stuff at us, but <laughs> that'll probably be about it. Okay, maybe a couple tanks, too. Okay, so now we're gonna go down and around this way, avoiding everything. <laughs> How does that look? I think that looks pretty good. I think it's even I think it's shorter going down this way than it would be to go up this way because there's a couple of turns as opposed to yeah, those over there. Well, I don't know, I don't know, maybe not. Well, ah well. <laughs> Anyway, you just gotta watch for our passenger and watch for the signs. Like this whistle sign coming up here. Oh shoot, this is gonna be like a a multi <laughs> a multi keep up challenge going on there. There we go. Got it. I got have I have one one stylus to do two things. Let's put it that way. <laughs> All right, so we're getting there though. We are getting there. And oh man. I can't wait to see his face when this unclothed Goron gets himself into the snow. It is gonna be epic. <laughs> but so far, it's not. Oops, so far, there's not all that much going on here. I've gotta say, it's been all pretty routine thus far. <laughs> can I get the whistle going this early on? Yeah, I can. Ish. <laughs> see, there's a like a relative range along the tracks that you can blow the whistle for, and if you go too far, it's it's considered like too late or something like that, and then you get deducted on the passenger happiness ranking of sorts, and they go over to Yelp and they give you a bad review or something like that. It's, it's just a disaster for your train company, and yeah, so just try and avoid that if you can help it. <laughs> Alright, last stretch of force. And now we've got to deal with the snowman, which will probably be the most difficult part of it, the whole thing, because the snowman, they can shoot a lot of projectiles, and you, you know, you're trying to get their body, and they keep regenerating their head, but, well, maybe we're not going to get any snowmen. Maybe they only appeared, like, around this area before, like, you know, in this, this sort of range-type place. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, and needless to say, since I'm also coming down to Anuki Village, I'm also going to flop back 
up and around over to those corners somewhere along soon-ish. It's time to slow down though and get ready to not scare our passenger into thinking that we are going to miss our stop. And there we go. How you like the cold, my naked friend? Wow, so it was all true. Oh, this whole place is covered in white fluffy stuff. I'm so glad I made the trip out here, and I'm so glad you gave me a ride. So glad, in fact, we get a forest gem for it, which we'll doodle on our map for some new tracks that are connect gonna connect. Ooh, yeah! And they connect up over there conveniently. I believe there's a, a rabbit or two down there, too. So I guess I can go grab those a little bit later on, too. Oh, but I cannot forget my manners. First things first, I must go meet the village head. Okay, let's go ahead and rail map it up. Oh, I didn't mean to touch the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's like somewhere around here and go all the way somewhere around there or something like that. I just don't want to, yeah. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. <laughs> Those tracks are new. Ooh, we got mail. Might as well check that out. Oh, he's still building the fence? <laughs> Man, that's one difficult fence. Hey, howdy, mister! You got a letter from Nico, Link! You know, for his age, Nico sure has energy to burn. How old is he anyhow? anyhow? When I saw him last, he made me listen to his so-called masterpiece. Which is to say, the old fellow pretty much talked my poor ear off. <laughs> now where were we again? Alright, your letter. Here you go, fresh from the bag. Did you read it this time? Here you go. <laughs> Woo! Okay, I'll check that out. Okay, I've delivered your mail safely to you. Well, my work seems to be done here, so I'll be off. See you around! Chugga chugga choo choo, chugga chugga choo choo! Let's go check that letter, I guess, really quick. Rup, rup. How's your travels going? Are you collecting lots of stamps for me? I hope to see you, your smiling face back in a Boda village soon. Oh, when I was cleaning up the other day, I found this map. Why don't you check it out? Nico. So there's two X's below those two trees over there. So we, what you might want to do here, just to remind yourself of this a little bit later, is go ahead and click on a Boda village on the real map. And, well, I guess, I guess it's kind of hard to mark it out on the map, but I'll just put two X's here to remind myself. Because you can't see where the trees are on that particular map, so, yeah. No, we just wait until the fence is done, it's all thanks to you guys. Same dialogue, okay. That means you probably have the same dialogue too, right? Yeah, what do you mean, no progress? See, that's why projects like this are tough. Can't you see? The base is the most important, you can't just throw it together. If I leave this for later, the end product is just gonna, gonna be completely off. It's the details that make a true craftsman, and I've been at this my whole life. If you understand, then you get out of my hair and let me get back to work. Alright, so he, he, he chewed me out for not believing in his struggles to make a fence after all. <laughs> I'm telling you, guy, I'm just bushed. I don't know how much more of this patrol than I can do. <laughs> Those critters are just calling. Yep, it's just time crawls when you're on patrol duty, guy. Yeah, those critters are giving them all sorts of ire around these parts. But don't worry, that fence will be up in maybe about ten more years. <laughs> uh, anyone? Anyone? No, no. I'm just just gonna get the dialogue as long as I. Ah! Mm! Just gonna get the bits of dialogue before uh, I leave the village to see what they all have to say about the monster invasion while they uh, continue to fend them off. Uh, hey there, you there's someone indoors. Just when you start getting warm again, it's time for guard duty. Pain in the neck, right guy? Oh well, no use in complaining, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they're not that difficult to beat, just kinda swat them back with a fly swat or something. Time crawls and you're a patrol duty guy. Yeah, that's what everyone's saying. Oh wait, you're the si oh, you're the same ones from the other side. Okay, so you're just kind of wandering around the the front area. I thought you were just gonna hang around that corner area, but no, but no, you did not. Uh, where's that Goron that went <laughs> that went into the village? He's gotta be freezing his uh, rocks off. Let's put it that way. <laughs> oh yeah, I can blow that wall up now. Yeah, now that I'm back there, I could, could. Oh, I was just speaking with the village honcho. Hmm, yes sir, I sure am the honcho. No doubt about it. Why else would I be sitting in this, in his, I, I mean, uh, my house? Hmm, this is suspicious. I just, uh, changed my clothes, guy. Well, uh, Honcho, since you are going on a trip, thanks for letting me use your house. And you don't even know me. For a politician, you are most hospitable. <laughs> well, what can I say? I'm a real hospi hospitable sort of guy, guy. 
It's true what they say. The colder a place is, the warmer the hearts are of the residents. And obviously that is not not the not the elder. <laughs> People in cold places have warm hearts, and this place is extra super cold. Since Hancho was kind enough to lend me his house, I might stay for a bit. The only problem is that it is really cold here. It does not feel Goron-like. Too bad, huh? Well, guess you're gonna have to get a parka, huh? Hey there, guy. I've just been chatting with my Rocky pal here. He's really been talking up a go t talking up Goron Village to me. Apparently, it's toasty all year round, the perfect place for taking it easy. Personally, this Anuki could use a break from guard duty. What do you say, give me a lift to Goron Village? Village. I'll do that in the next part. <laughs> oh, snowflakes. I guess I'm stuck here for now then. <laughs> I'll get the, yeah, I'll just start that all the way up in the next part and whatnot. And then I can, it's basically a relay f of one critter going from one village to the other and in completely opposite elements so that they can experience each other's living conditions, I guess you could say. Um, so I think I will save that and the explodable wall there in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I do some more side questing. And who knows, maybe I'll decide the main quest too. Who knows? Okay, probably not. There's a, there's a whole bunch of stuff that unlocked after the fire temple. So yeah, it's side questing it is. <laughs>